Hey guys, welcome back to episode two of Makeup Education. For today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do your eyebrows step by step. So let's get started. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you a couple of the products that I use. So these are the products I'm gonna be using today. So I always start with my Benefit Brow Pencil. I use shade 3.5. And then I have my Makeup Revolution Soap Styler. And lastly, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. And I also have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. It is missing the label because I've had it for a while. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can do your brows. So number one, we have Brow Gel and just filling in your brows. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my Benefit Brow Pencil in shade 3.5. And I'm just going to fill them in first and then I'm gonna use brow gel to set them in place. So how you wanna fill in your brows, it's actually really simple. I always tell people to go for it, less is more, because you don't really want your brows to look crazy. You don't want them to look like um, your grandma in 1990. You know what I mean? Or your mom in 1990, if your mom filled in her brows a lot. Sorry. So I'm gonna take the spoolie end. I actually like to bend it I feel like it just kind of gives you a better angle. Let's actually, let's zoom you in. So I'm just gonna start by brushing up my brows. So how you fill them in is you just take your little brow pencil. I always suggest a brow pencil because you can get finer detailing and it's honestly really simple. So I just like to start just kind of getting a little bit in here, just doing hair like strokes, like super gently. And then now we're like starting to define the brow. So I do kind of like mine to look like I have something in them. You can just like leave it pretty much like this and do something super natural, but I honestly like mine to look a little bit more defined, I guess you could say. Okay, so I'm gonna start at the front of the brow and this is just so I can kind of create the shape that I want. I did this a lot when I was first starting to learn how to do my eyebrows. So I like to start here and just kind of draw a line straight across. And then same thing up here. Super gently, we're not pressing down hard at all. And then kind of do that. And then we're just going to gently fill in the front. So using like extremely light pressure, just doing like hair like strokes. And then you can use your spoolie. Honestly, I like to use my finger. It's just a little bit more gentle just to kind of give it like the ombre effect. So once you get your brow filled in, I mean, look at the difference. It, already looks so much better. <laughs> Let's use our brow gel and I'm just gonna start at the front and just brush them up. You can even like here, go like here and brush up like this. Cause the hairs will fall, they're not gonna like stay like that. So that's how to do just like a basic fill in your eyebrow. I just go with the natural shape of my eyebrow. Um, like I said, you wanna do light pressure. You don't wanna be pressing down too hard or else you'll get them looking super cartoony. All right, so let's move on to number two. So for number two, we're gonna be using brow soap. Like I said, it is Makeup Revolution brow soap. I think it retails for like eight or nine dollars. I can put the price right here so you guys know. Um, really cheap, really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like rip open this packaging. Okay, so with brow soap, you can use water. Honestly, I just like to use a setting spray. So I'm gonna use my Morphe setting spray. I'm just gonna spray a little bit on there. I don't even use this applicator if I'm honest. I use um, this. I just kind of mix it in here. Get plenty on the brush. There we go. So that's kind of what you want. And then I like to start either in the middle or the front. It honestly doesn't really matter. Um, and then I just start brushing it through, pick up a little bit more product here. Okay, so you kind of just want to let it dry a little bit. 
And if you need to, you can get some more on here. I honestly don't ever use like a whole lot of soap though. So then I go in and I fill them in because if I just leave it like this, you can see all the places where my brow is more on the patchy side. I never use just the soap brow or just the brow freeze, which we'll talk about next. I always pair it with a little bit of color because you don't want to just like leave it looking like this because she just looks a little um sad <laughs> she looks a little sad so we're just gonna want to fill that in especially with the soap it can kind of give you a little bit of a white cast um so just be careful with it don't use a whole lot of product the reason i like using the soap brow over the brow freeze by anastasia beverly hills is number one it's cheaper number two it's easier to use number three it lasts longer um but the good thing about the brow freeze is it doesn't give you that white cast because it's a clear brow gel so i do like using the cabrow by benefit because it just kind of well this applicator is gross i need to clean it but the good thing about it is it does kind of help the brows helps shape them and keep them molded in the shape longer and it also obviously adds color since we are using um a brow pomade and this will just give you like the most natural looking brows ever like see it's just shaping them giving them a tiny bit of color nothing crazy and then a little bit in the front of the brow like you're kidding that literally looks so good <laughs> and then whatever else i need to do i'm going to use my brow pencil to just do a little bit of fine detailing so you can go like this and do like that i honestly like to go across like this and then go up just a tiny bit nothing crazy like i said and then slightly fill them in and you can even use like the brow pencil to kind of shape the hairs you can kind of see i'm bringing it down right here to make them look fuller see like literally so gorgeous so pretty and it just gives you it just gives you that full thick brow look which i love if you don't want them to look this thick you can use your fully and just kind of like shape them but i kind of like mine to look a little fuller honestly but just so you guys can see see how it just kind of clean them up a little bit yes like look at the difference so this is kind of just like your more natural look this is more of a full thick brow um i mean which one do you guys like better i like this one better personally but on a lazy day i do this one all the time but let's move on to brow freeze so I'm, I'm gonna take this one off and we're gonna do the brow freeze so you can kind of compare and contrast they're gonna look pretty similar to this one but i honestly think this one kind of gives you a better better look and it lasts a lot longer okay so actually what's funny about this is i actually hated it when i first bought it it did not work um i was like why is this not working and then i so i like didn't use it for months and then one day i picked it up and i was like let me just try it and then it worked perfectly and i was like what's going on so we're gonna see if we're gonna have that problem today um this stuff is expensive so you know i was like i'm gonna get my money's worth and i, I honestly have i'm almost out of mine but this is what it looks like it's just kind of like a wax so i'm just gonna take some off the top um and then i just wipe it on the lid like that it can like coat our spoolie well, i'm just gonna start by brushing them up and obviously there's a little bit of soap on here because we just did the soap brow but i this is what i do i use the same spoolie for my soap brow and for this maybe that's why it works now i don't know but anyway i'm gonna brush her up to how we want it okay let that dry a little bit and you can do the same thing that we did with the soap brow where i use the brow pomade but i just like to use my brow pencil you don't really need to use um the brow pomade when it comes to this because it's not going to give you that white cast where when you use the brow soap i like using the brow pomade because it kind of combats the white cast that you get 
let's just start filling her in but we're just gonna start you can even start up here okay so again kind of like shaping the hairs with my brow pencil i find that honestly really helps and then we're just kind of shaping them a little bit as so you can see this side is still a little bit wet so we let it dry down a little bit more i'm also sweating okay so you guys can see the difference this one obviously looks a lot more thick and full this is kind of like the more natural version of the brow soap i just kind of use whatever i'm feeling on a given day if i want my brows to last all day i use the brow soap if i want them to just if i'm just like going to church and i just need my makeup done for like an hour and a half i use the i use the brow freeze um one thing to remember with the brow soap is because it is a soap consistency you want to use q-tips to kind of just remove around the brows with like you want like a, a damp q-tip which actually i'm gonna get um so i can show you guys just so when you go to conceal your brows when you put on the rest of your makeup you don't have like clumps of makeup coming off because of the soap so we have our q-tips they are damp and i'm just gonna go around the base of the brow and just kind of come around here okay so the last thing i do is i go ahead and conceal under my brows which is really simple um if you don't want to watch that you can just skip to the end but that's the last thing i'm going to show you guys how to do just in case you don't know how it's really easy i always suggest it anytime you fill in your brows and you're wearing a full face of makeup to always conceal under your brows because it also highlights under your brows just kind of makes it not so your face is like all one color so i'm gonna use my morphe m210 this is my favorite concealer brush which i need to wash okay so i use the shade light sand in shape tape i was looking at ulta the other day because i want to try a new concealer and none of those shades like match this one like i have I bought the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, which is in shade, um, it's in shade Nougatine, but I just feel like it's too dark and anything else is too neutral or just does not look right. So I'll show you guys. This is Light Sand and then that one is Nougatine and they're supposed to be like the same. That is not the same at all. Like that's way too yellow. That's actually the shade of my foundation. And I tried to go a shade lighter and then a shade lighter than that. One was too neutral, one was too pink. And I'm like, so Tarte, please never go out of business with that because I need a good concealer. <laughs> so I start at the base of the brow. Let's actually do this one first. So right about here, you're basically just drawing a line under your brow, which looks really scary, but I promise you it's not. Once you blend it out, it looks so good. And then I use my Makeup Revolution um, Dense Concealer Brush and I just blend it out. So it just kind of highlights under your brows. Obviously you're not gonna do this if you're not wearing a full face of makeup because then you're just gonna look insane <laughs> as I do a little bit right now. So we're just gonna do the other one. And if you happen to go over the line at all, let it dry and then go back in with your brow pencil and just kind of fix that up and then reconceal where you actually wanted it to go. So again, starting at the base or at the front of the brow and going to the tail of the brow. If you guys do want to see my full face routine, how I do my um, full face, I actually just came out with that video uh last week or the week before that so you guys can go ahead and check that out i don't have that many videos so you can just go to my channel and it's the most recently uploaded video all right guys i'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup and then i'll be back to show you how i do the top okay so i just started putting on my foundation so now i'm gonna show you guys how i do the top of my brows i actually use foundation which i do tell you guys that in pretty much all my videos but in case this is the first one you've ever seen, I start up here and just shape it. 
is really quite easy. It's just getting the right shape that you want. So again, some foundation. So then I just go back in with my, my concealer brush and blend that out. And that is all we do with the brows. Now I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to end the video. All right guys, full face makeup is done. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if there's any other types of videos that you want me to film. I am planning on doing a how to apply false lashes, half lashes, kind of the whole nine yards with that, and then also how to do eyeliner. So be on the lookout for that. I am gonna film that very soon, most likely next week. Um, if not, then it'll be a couple weeks from now because I do wanna do a Valentine's Day look, but we'll see if that happens. So follow me on Instagram down here. Be sure to also follow my TikTok, which I just recently created. It's kind of all things Angelique. So it's not just beauty, it's some funny things too, you know, me just being myself. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like this video down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.